Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the River Tour. Today I wanted to showcase another one of my Spider-Man because I know I did Heads Peter a couple of weeks ago. And this one I pulled out of my sealed uh, series. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and check it out, put it right there. Uh, this guy is a house. He's a chase out of the War of the Realms set. I was pretty lucky to get him. And I really like what this character does. So for starters, he's got the Asgardian Avengers, Spider-Man family, future, past, and scientist keywords. So he can fit on a lot of different teams, which is cool. Uh, you can throw him on another Guardian team. Uh, I was playing him on Avengers, and then I finished playing him on Spider-Man family. I played him most of the weeks I was available because I really enjoyed this piece. He has a trait of super senses, but whenever he uses it, he gets plus one every time the attack was re-rolled. He has probability control himself, and then if you just prop more, he gets plus one and you can make it so you only fail on a one, which is really good. Just uh, he can avoid everything. Um, he's got improved movement elevation. He's a Spider-Man, he swings. Um, the one ability that I think is the best on this character and the reason why I was so about playing him is this time dilation ability. So when he makes an attack roll, he gets to roll three dice instead of two. And then after any re-rolls or replacements, you choose which die you ignore. So if your opponent is playing the Wanda that can replace uh, dice rolls with ones or Q, there's a couple other Star Trek characters that can do it. Um, they have to replace and then you have to ignore. So there has to be two dice in that that would cause it to fail so it's really hard to mess with him and then whenever he is attacked so if he's single targeted or if you target him and two other people the attacker has to roll three dice and then I choose which two he gets to use after replacements or rerolls so it makes it really hard to hit him he's just gonna pick the we're just gonna pick the low numbers right and then Hopefully we don't get hit. Uh, he's a little squishy because of this ability, um, but I think it's very strong. And I'll explain how I tried to abuse it. His other special ability is a damage power called Time Diamonds, which is how he got his name Time Diamonds Peter that we always called him. Uh, I still call him, he's my TDP. Uh, probability control. Spider-Man and adjacent friendly characters have safeguard opposing probability control. So we charge Spider-Man in, hit, keep everybody next to him. So get our range in these squares, get our melee in these squares, and they can never probably roll. So even if they have a theme team, if they're playing one of the ones where they get extra probability controls, they're not gonna be able to use them. And I think it's a really cool shutdown. Um, the problem is he is entirely outwittable. So you have to deal with him turning off his abilities and if you don't have your own outwit, which there's Spider-Man that do, um, there's plenty of Avengers that do, so if you build accordingly, you should be fine. Um, the one thing that I liked was putting Parallax on him. Uh, Parallax has top dial, you can give him Quintessence, so he's unoutwittable. You could also make him the Herald of Galactus with the new Galactus, and then he is also unoutwittable. Uh, the Entities can be a little bit better because they have different abilities. Um, if you can find one that also gives running shot. Uh, that way he, he has six range and three targets. So he's a decent range piece. He just doesn't have that moving attack. But if we look at the back of his card, we can take a look at all of his coolness. So he's only six clicks. Again, he's squishy because of that attack power because you're always hitting. You're gonna deal damage. Um, so we've got uh, 10 charge on the top three, 11 with his special ability, and then 11 in cap, and then 10 with his special ability, and then 18, 17, 17 combat reflexes, making him in close combat at 20. Uh, you can also give him stealth with parallax. Uh, you can He can wild card uh, like the Batman team ability if you're playing scientists. Uh, or you're playing a Batman that's a god and Mary Jane. There's a lot of things you could do to try to keep him in stealth. 
and and he's just really hard to hit. Uh, he's got his special probability control in the first two, regular probability control, and then his special probability control. But after we get out of those top three, it gets really hard to use. He's got sidestep instead of charge, which can still, I like sidestep in a lot of situations because you're able to still get that range attack in and with six range, three targets, he's still pretty good. Uh, he's got his special uh, attack power. And then if you manage to stop on his last click where he is his strongest, he's got a 12 attack, so he should be hitting. You need a five or higher on most rolls in order to get it, so you're probably gonna get it. He's got willpower, so he can just pull his tokens off. Uh, that rarely comes up. And um, he's a very simple piece. And I just love the interaction that you can do with him because there's a lot of build arounds. Right. If you want to play him on an all scientist theme team, uh, you can get a lot of more outwits on him. You can get him in stealth if you choose to make him power cosmic. Uh, you can keep going every turn with your willpower, always have that attack up, get him in a decent defense, play him with the Peggy Carter that has the defend and then defended the 21 with the giant reach three so he is gonna be a 21 like you, you're not hitting him on three dice so that's not happening and then he's gonna web up everybody and the fact that you can spread out that that damage is kind of nice uh, i do like to just give him some extra stuff just that way he is a good attacker but base piece i love this piece um, i utilized him in my finale episode of our out the pack series uh, he was my favorite build around of the stuff that i opened uh, and i think because he's an avenger and because he's an asgardian and spider-man family on just name keywords you have so much ability to use him um, and then he also has uh, scientists and future and past uh, the future and past comes up with Disney plus there is all the stuff from Loki and the stuff from the um, Peggy Carter episodes are future and past so you can easily build around him but I just wanted to show off this really cool spider-man that's not super expensive and I think it's really fun if you guys have this piece you should definitely be building around it because it leads to some great gameplay i appreciate you guys watching today's episode uh, just leave a comment below if you have any suggestions we've read a couple that we have videos planned for uh, like and subscribe and share us around to your friends we want to get out there and get more people into hero clicks and spreading hero clicks content and cool stuff is the best way to do that uh, until next time guys take it easy